The diagram shows a particle at a point P in the xy plane. A single force F, also in the xy plane, acts on the particle. The position vector of the particle is R. The torque, tor, acting on the particle relative to the origin O is defined by tor is equal to R cross F. In other words, the vector product between the position vector and the force F. The direction of the torque is perpendicular to the plane containing R and F and its sense is determined by the right-hand rule. The magnitude of the torque is given by the magnitude of R times the magnitude of F times sine phi, where phi is the angle between R and F. We can also write this as that the torque tor is equal to R times F perpendicular, where F perpendicular is the component of F perpendicular to R. Or alternatively, that the torque is equal to R perpendicular times F, where R perpendicular is the perpendicular distance between O and the line of action of F. In other words, the moment arm of F. Note that torque is defined with respect to a point as opposed to an axis, as was the case when we considered a rigid body rotating about a fixed axis. You will get different values for the torque when you calculate it with respect to different points because the position vector r will be different. Also, the direction of the torque will be different when determined with respect to different points.